Hello children and parents, and welcome to this month's children's message. My name is Miss Pat, and we're going to talk about God so loved the world. You look at this globe, and you're reminded that God created the heavens and the earth, and all the people, you and I, in it. And so today we're going to read a story, the real Easter story, and we'll get into that story right now. When Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey, a large crowd lined the road with their cloaks and palm leaves. They shouted, Hosanna in the highest. While Jesus was on earth, he taught many things to the people who would listen. He taught with authority from God. The chief priests did not believe that he was the Messiah, so they rejected his teachers and wanted to arrest him. The story continues. Judas, one of the disciples, betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver and told the chief priests where to find Jesus so he could be arrested. Before Jesus was arrested, he ate the Passover with his disciples. He washed their feet, ate bread, and drank wine with them. This was the beginning of the, of the tradition of Christian communion. After they ate, Jesus took the disciples out to the garden called Gethsemane to pray. While Jesus was praying, some guards came and arrested him. He was put on trial by Pontius Pilate and was found innocent. However, the crowd still wanted to crucify him. It was a custom at Passover to release a prisoner whom the people requested. So to please the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas instead of Jesus. The story continues. Jesus was flogged and then turned over to the guards to be crucified. They mocked him by putting a crown of thorns on his head, a staff in his hand, and a robe on his back. They spit on him and hit him in the face. Jesus carried a wooden cross up a hill to Golgotha. There, the guards nailed his hands and feet to the cross and lifted him up so everyone could see him die. Jesus was crucified with two criminals. One mocked him, but the other asked for forgiveness because he believed Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus forgave the repentant criminal that very moment and promised him he would be with Jesus in heaven. The story continues. Darkness fell on the earth, and Jesus died. The veil in the temple was torn into two pieces. His body was wrapped and placed into a tomb that was sealed with a large stone. Because of Jesus' claim to rise from the dead, the chief priest asked that guards be placed in front of the tomb to make sure the body would not be stolen. After three days and nights, an angel of the Lord rolled the stone away from the tomb. The guards fell down in fear. The angel told Mary Magdalene, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He is risen, just as he said. Mary Magdalene went and told the disciples the good news. Jesus then appeared to them and showed them the wounds of his hands and feet and side. They were happy and worshiped him. And so finally, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. 
So children, remember, God loves you, God loves me, and he sent his only son to come and save us. So remember that as you go through Easter, that God loves you all. Until next time, goodbye.